Happy New Year guys! Today is Lunar New Year and I'm going to do a fun and bright look to celebrate this event, this big Asian event. This is my New Year outfit and I'm going to do something to complement this whole look. Let's get started. I'm going to prime my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is a foundation primer and it is truly amazing. It feels so good every single time I do this. It's just like... I'm in awe. Going in with my IT CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream, I'm going to put on my foundation. This is in the color medium. I'm going to use my beauty blender and just blend everything out evenly. Dab in the areas where you want full coverage and swipe in the areas where you want less coverage. Let's conceal my face with some concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Neutral. Blend it out. Make sure everything is nice and smooth. Next step is to bake your face. I always, always do this. Never skip it. I think it's so necessary. Make sure that your beauty blender is damp for the best result. Some of you guys ask me if you bake your face and you take photos with flash, will it have some flashbacks? There will be some flashbacks if you don't blend out your makeup and bronze in these certain areas where they have too much white. As long as you see that your makeup's not too white and too cakey, then you should be okay. Just use a little bronzer and blend it. For this look, I'm going to use the Morphe palette, the 35B Color Burst palette right here. It's so bright, fun, and I'm going to focus in the pink areas, the pink and the purples. Grabbing my Hakuhodo brush, S127, I'm going into this color right here, this nice purple color, and then putting it on my lids. Put it on your lids, move it upwards, and blend it out. Using this pointed Hakuhodo brush, I'm going to do the same thing underneath my eyes with the same color. This Morphe palette is blending really well, very little fallout, just a tiny bit. It's much better than a lot of palettes that I've been using and they are way more expensive. So, kudos to Morphe. Using my brush S143, I'm going to go into this dark color right here and then go into the hollows of my eyes, give it a nice cut crease. And blend it out upwards. Then shadow the bottom waterline. Next, I'm going to use the Stila and Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. It's a liquid eyeshadow. This stuff is really, really good. I don't need to add any liquid to get some glitter. This basically does the whole thing for you in this little tube. So I love, love this stuff. They have a bunch of them in a bunch of colors and it's really, really good. This is in the color Sea Siren. Let's grab some of that Sea Siren and siren myself out. Put it on my lids right there. So pretty. With this product, it's very less messy. I'm gonna sharpen that crease a little bit with the glitter and then bring it towards the inner corners of my eyes. Give some love in the bottom. Just a tad bit. So before you open your eyes, make sure you take a moment to let it dry because if you open your eyes, you're gonna mess up all that area and it's going to get to the top and it's going to be a hot mess. You're gonna have to redo everything and it's a lot of time wasted. Just be patient and let it dry. Color is so pretty. Now I'm going to apply my eyeliner. I'm using the Shu Amora eyeliner. So I applied my eyeliner on top and also on bottom, popped on some mascara and some falsies. These lashes are in the style dramatic from my Poopy eyelashes line. I went for a more dramatic dark winged eyeliner because I wanted to give you that Asian persuasion look. Cheng Li. It's time to go fighting. <laughs> this is actually from Power Ranger. <laughs> okay. Eyes are done. I'm going to do my eyebrows. Fill it in with the MAC Espresso eyeshadow using the MAC 263 angle brush. Just fill in my eyebrows real quick.
Now I'm moving on to contouring. I'm going to contour my whole face, make it more smaller, more put together. And I'm going to use the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. This is the darker kind. They only have two kinds, one light, one dark. I'm really liking this color because it's really natural and it doesn't give you that dirty look. Because sometimes if you use brown, certain colors and shades make your contour look like it's kind of greasy and dirty. So this one is perfect. It's very soft, very natural, light. I'm using this pointed brush from Hakuhodo. This one's actually discontinued, so as long as it's kind of pointed and rounded off, then it should be good. Now it's time for blush. I'm going to use California by Benefit. Kind of lighten up my skin, my face a little bit more. I love this blush. It smells so, so good. I'm gonna go back and contour my jaw a little bit right here. Let's make this jaw much, much smaller. Highlight my face using the RMS Living Luminizer. Using my hands, I don't wanna go in with my brush or anything because it's going to move my foundation. Dab it onto the upper eyebrow bone. There you go. This stuff is really, 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 really sticky, so go slow and apply it accordingly. This will give you a really dewy finish. I think you can use this product with just very little foundation and just add on the highlight for everyday use. Very, very nice and soft. It is truly a living luminizer. I'm living. Since this product is kind of sticky, I want to add something on top of it so my hair doesn't get stuck onto it and also enhance the color a little bit more using the Too Faced Diamond Highlighter. Love this stuff. Right on top of it, there you go. Same thing on that upper eyebrow area. I'm applying this highlighter with the S121 brush. This is also my brush that I use to clean up all my fallout area. You can use it for both and it works just fine. Highlight Cupid's bow, tip of the nose, bridge of the nose. Make my nose look a little bit taller, higher. And then also on the chin. Then using my S100 brush, I'm going to finish everything off with this foundation, this powder foundation. Just slightly brush everything and set everything in place. I'm using the La Prairie Loose Powder Foundation in the color Cameo. Take that same brush that I used to highlight and just kind of clean up underneath my eyes a little bit. Also go back and then kind of contour that area where you feel like you're going to get some flashbacks for the baking of the face. Just blend it out underneath your eyes like this. Give it some color so it's not as white. And then you should be good for your photos. Next, I'm going to use my Pat McGrath lip liner in the color Manhattan and go in and line my lips. The last step is to add a splash of color to this look. I'm going to use the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the color Backstage Bambi. This will pop the look a little bit more. Ooh. So I use a darker color to line my lips because I want to give it a more ombre effect. Filling in my lips slightly underneath the liner. This lipstick right here is seriously everlasting. It just stays on the minute you put it on, all day, and even after you take it off. So it's gonna take a long time for you to rub it off. Just be careful when you take it off. It's gonna take about two or three times to really go in there and, and take off all that color. Sometimes I would rub so hard that it would start to bleed, and that's my bad, but be very careful with this stuff. It's not coming off. It's sticking to you very, very long. Top this off with my Fix Plus from MAC. Give it a more dewy finish, and then make sure it's nice and dry fast. Just blow on it or fan your face. Make sure you don't feel any cooling area anymore and that's when you know it's dry. This is my Asian Lunar New Year look. It's very dramatic, very animated with a splash of color. I love this Morphe palette. It's very pigmented, very cheap, and it blends really, really well. Surprisingly for the price, it's like $20, something like that. And 
all the colors come out really, really nice. Great thing is it's very affordable. Very, very affordable. You will not be disappointed with this. All right, guys, so I hope you guys like this look. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Leave a comment below. Before I go, I want to wish you guys a happy new year filled with lots of love, happiness, joy, um, prosperity, and most importantly, good health. Because if you don't have that, then you can't do anything else. So stay strong, be strong. All good things coming to you guys. And if it's a bad thing, then it'll always turn out to be a good thing in the end. Think positive. Happy new year. And xin chúc quý vị một năm mới an khang thịnh vượng bận sự như ý. Làm ăn phát tài, nhiều sức khỏe và luôn luôn tươi trẻ và vui trong cuộc sống và tình yêu. This is the outfit that I prepared for my Lunar New Year shows that's coming up. If you guys are in the area, don't forget to catch me and say hello. Stop by and say hello. Have some fun. Party it up with me for the New Year. Bring lots of luck to each other. Lots of good vibes, lots of good feng shui. Peace and harmony. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year!